It is currently 1.50 and we are on our way to the Big Bad Wolf book sale. <laughs> Six, eight, I'm here with Rachel and we are walking in. It's a long walk. We'll get there eventually. so tired and we're done. I'm having a headache. I haven't filmed in so many weeks. I am now awkward again in front of the camera. <laughs> also the neighbors are making a lot of noise. So now I have to show you the books that I got at the Big Bad Wolf book sale. But before that, I'm going to show you a few books that I got before I went to the book sale because I won a giveaway from Del Rey UK and here is the package. They sent it straight to my Twitter <laughs> account name. So I'm going to open it. Yeah. Oh, it's so pretty. The Supernatural Enhancements by Edgar Cantero. Look at that, and they sent me a little Congrats message! I'm so excited to read this. And I also bought three books from uh, from Popular, and it is Devoured by D. E. Meredith. Look at the inside without the dust jacket. It's beautiful. And on the inside of it, I think it's a mystery of set in the 17th century. So that's fun. The Kite Runner, the graphic novel by Khalid Hosseini. And I bought it for only 15 ringgit from Popular. And it was a steal. Look at how beautiful the drawings are. The illustration, really pretty. Hater by David Moody. <laughs> the name's kind of ironic, eh? So that's nice. It's about a sudden influx of people who start thinking that everybody around them wants to hurt them and they start lashing out. So it's like, they are trying to wonder what causes uh, this violence in people because anyone can get it and anyone can be a victim as well. For my Big Bad Wolf book haul, I had a budget of 160 ringgit and I got all these books for 145 ringgit which is great. I got Night Film by Marisha Pessel and this book I heard from Peru's project and she raved about it a while ago. Although it's a different cover, but I'm still really excited to read it, but it is so thick. But I'm still really excited to read it. I only got it for 8 ringgit at the Big Bad Wolf book sale. Under the Dome by Stephen King. It is supposedly the best yet from the best ever. So, really excited to read this. I got it for 10 ringgit, which is really cheap. Origin, and also Vitro, both by Jessica Curry. This and Origin are science fiction novels. And I'm really excited to read it because it sounds really, really interesting. Don't Close Your Eyes by Lisa McMahon. And I didn't know that this book was actually a trilogy. It's actually three books in it. It's Wake, Fade, and Gone. And it's the Don't Close Your Eyes trilogy. So I had no idea until I picked it up. And I came, I bought it, then I came home and I read that. Because <laughs> I saw right here in the contents. It says so. And yeah, I got it for only 8 ringgit. Can you imagine a whole trilogy for 8 ringgit? That is one heck of a steal. And this book that I'm really excited to read is All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr. And I got this for only 10 ringgit. I heard so many people raving about this book, so when I saw it, I was like, yeah, I'm picking it up. It's really pretty too. Look at pretty cover. I also got Micro by Michael Crichton. And it's I think it's science fiction and I'm really excited to read it. So this was Ten Ringgit. Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. I bought this for Ten Ringgit. And the cover is beautiful. Girl with a Clock for a Heart by Peter Swanson. This cover is so pretty. And I think it's about a girl with a clock for a heart. <laughs> I don't know. 
I got it for 10 ringgit at the sale. Wool by Hugh Howley. I've been wanting to get this book for a while now because I saw it was recommended on like Goodreads, you know that Goodreads recommendation thing? Yeah, I saw it there and I was like, damn, I gotta get this. And it's 8 ringgit. Now these two books aren't really um, books that I usually read, but I really want to get it because first of all, the covers were beautiful. And second of all, they just sound really interesting and I wanted to delve a bit into a different kind of genre. So, To Rise Again at a Decent Hour by Joshua Ferris. It's about a dentist, I think. I mean, look at that, it's a tooth. It's so cute. And the cover is like, it's like the texture of a brick wall. If you can see it with the shadows or something, I don't know. But yeah, it's really, really pretty cover and the story sounds really interesting as well. Last but not least is The Roundabout Man by Claire Morale. I got this for 8 ringgit and the cover is beautiful. Can you see it? Can you see that like oil shine? It's so so pretty and I can't wait to read this book because it sounds really interesting as well. So that's it. That was all the books that I've hauled this past month or so when I was missing. I am so sorry for that by the way. I should have updated I guess. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this book haul and I will see you in my next one. Bye! I stayed within my budget. I had a budget of 160. In my opinion, every day in December is a day for festive makeup. I say festive makeup because of the red lips, but you know what I'm saying.